Out in the middle of the ocean, a woman's body plunges into the water, causing panic as she struggles to stay afloat. Suddenly, Brandon jolts awake from a nightmare. He works as a bodyguard for Ava, the governor's daughter, and feels guilty about failing to protect her mother. At the airport, Ava meets up with her friends Jed and Kyle for a trip, and Brandon accompanies them as security. The boys aren't thrilled about it, but Ava insists it's necessary. As they board the plane, Ava notices there are fewer passengers than usual. During the flight, the plane experiences turbulence and an engine catches fire after hitting birds. Despite reassurances from the pilot, the situation quickly worsens. A passenger is killed when part of the engine breaks off and chaos ensues as the plane begins to break apart. As the plane crashes into the ocean, Brandon tries to save a man but is injured himself. Many passengers are killed by the impact or crushed by seats as the plane sinks. Luckily, an airlock forms, leaving Ava, her friends, and a flight attendant alive, though Kyle has a broken arm. The group listens nervously to strange sounds coming from the water. Suddenly, Brandon appears, guiding Rosa and her unconscious grandmother, Marty, to safety. Danilo performs chest compressions until Marty finally wakes up. Rosa asks about her grandfather, but Brandon sadly informs them that he didn't survive. Panicked, the group looks to Brandon for guidance. He takes charge, reassuring everyone that they're safe in the airlock and need to stay calm until rescuers arrive. Ava tries to check her phone for reception but finds none underwater. She suggests swimming out through a hole in the plane, but Brandon explains it's too risky. Danilo reassures them that help should be on the way. Brandon suggests finding backup oxygen, so Danilo checks the emergency tanks, only to discover they're empty. Marty remembers a passenger with a medical oxygen tank, so Brandon volunteers to search for it. As Brandon swims through the wreckage, he encounters a shark that attacks him. The group watches in horror as Brandon resurfaces, injured, and hands over the oxygen tank and the husband's hat to Marty. He apologizes to Ava before being dragged back into the water by the shark. Terrified, the group retreats to the employee area. Marty offers to tend to Kyle's broken arm, using her wartime nursing skills to fashion a splint. A helicopter flies overhead, searching for the crashed plane. They're on a mission to find the governor's daughter, but they haven't spotted anything yet. Meanwhile, the survivors on the plane hear ominous noises and feel it shifting, hinting that it might fall again. Jed's negativity starts to wear on the group, but Danilo opens the oxygen tank Brandon found. Suddenly, they notice the water turning red as sharks swarm in to feast on the bodies. The plane shakes, and they see the sharks outside, hitting the plane as they swim past. Rosa gets scared, but Ava reassures her that help will come. Despite their calculations giving them a few hours before the water reaches them, they're unsure if the plane will hold up. The plane slides down, causing rocks to fall, but thankfully, no one is hurt. However, the new angle causes the water to rise faster. Realizing they have to swim out, they brainstorm ways to distract the sharks. Rosa suggests bubbles, but holding their breath is a concern. Kyle remembers some passengers had scuba gear, but the oxygen tanks are likely empty. Ava suggests the gear could still be useful, but Jed's negativity persists. To comfort Rosa, Ava pretends to need the bathroom and has a breakdown, showing Rosa it's okay to be scared when she returns. Outside, the helicopter is running low on fuel, with only 15 minutes left. Finally, they spot pieces of the plane floating in the water and send two divers to search. They quickly locate the plane and try to communicate with the survivors through the window. One diver swims towards the hole, while the other approaches the window, unaware of the shark behind him. Despite the group's warnings, the diver is attacked and killed by the shark. The survivors hear noises above the plane and see the diver's leg floating away. They search for the other diver but assume he's also dead. With the helicopter low on fuel, they are forced to leave but promise to send help. Back on the plane, Ava suggests taking the dead diver's oxygen tank. While scanning the water, she sees a shadow but can't confirm if it's the diver. Jed tries to investigate but falls into the water, only to prank the group when he resurfaces. However, he's soon attacked by the shark, and the group pulls him to safety, though he loses a leg. Marty tends to his wound, and Jed mourns his inability to compete in triathlons. Ava volunteers to search for the scuba equipment, determined to find a way out. Danilo opens the hatch to the flooded baggage hold, but Ava dives in anyway. With a flare, she searches for the scuba equipment, unaware of an octopus lurking nearby. Startled by the octopus, she accidentally extinguishes the flare, causing concern for the others. Thankfully, Ava returns with the equipment, but they find only four suits. As they hear something hitting the plane, they rush to check the window but find no diver, realizing it must be a shark. Sadly, Jed is already dead. Ava tries to revive him, but Marty intervenes, accepting the truth. The plane slides again, halted by the cockpit breaking as an anchor, but the water rises quickly, prompting them to act fast. They plan to use the oxygen canisters to blow bubbles at the sharks and prepare to swim. Kyle, struggling with a childhood trauma, 
hesitates but agrees with support from Ava and Rosa. Gathering oxygen masks, they prepare to leave as the sharks continue to attack. Marty, knowing she would slow them down, volunteers to stay behind. After saying goodbye to Jed, they enter the water, but the cockpit breaks, signaling the plane's imminent fall. Marty urges Ava and Rosa to go first, and they encounter a shark in the corridor. Using an oxygen canister, they scare it away and continue. As the water rises, Marty accepts her fate, choosing to stay behind and be reunited with her husband. Kyle panics and swims back to a small pocket of air, with Danilo attempting to rescue him. Suddenly, a shark emerges from the baggage hold and attacks Kyle, killing him instantly. Terrified, Danilo swims to meet with Rosa and Ava, who retrieve the dead diver's tank to fill their lungs. Ava sends Rosa and Danilo through the hole with the tank, but a shark blocks Ava's path as she tries to leave. Ava swims back and hides as the shark enters the plane, accidentally hitting her mask. She realizes more sharks are coming through the hole and swims towards the front. As the plane falls faster, Ava struggles against the water pressure but manages to leave through the front hole just before the plane plunges into the abyss. She swims towards the surface but runs out of air and passes out. Thankfully, the floaties push Ava to the surface, where she wakes up and panics upon realizing the others are missing. Helicopters arrive and rescue her, along with Danilo and Rosa. Ava informs Rosa about her grandmother's fate, and in a final gesture, Rosa throws her plushie into the water before falling asleep in Ava's arms. Here you will get mind-blowing movies every time. Show your support by subscribing and check out the videos on your screen.